So this is my new collet blank and this was the previous one. I thought this was too small so I'm not, I really don't know how this is going to go. Okay so here you can see the replacement collet and the original one that I made first. When you look at the bases here this one is far too wide and that's because I got my maths wrong. This is what it should be looking like. So when I sit the stone on top you should see here that looks much more hopeful as a setting because I still have to burr out the silver to get the stone in but at least it's the right size I think I've now soldered the second uh, collet set into the ring band and I think the solder joins are all good the next stage now is to burr out the center and set the stone I'm going to start off with the pin vise again, just because I'm a little bit nervous about going too quickly and taking off too much metal. So I'm not going to use the pendant motor unless it takes a really long time. The important thing with this is to keep checking the fit of the stone. It's a job to see, but I think that's probably enough. Right, setting time. Pin vice did the job again. It took quite a while, but it did feel like I was more in control. So I'm more than happy to stick with that. I'm gonna start setting this with the square pusher and see how I get on. And if necessary, because I've been told this could be quite hard work, I do have a hammer hand piece, which I might resort to, but we'll see how I get on with this first. So as expected, the square pusher isn't quite cutting it. So I'm gonna switch and try the hammer hand piece. I'm also going to swap the size sevens for the size tens so that I can see what I'm doing. All right, the hammer hand piece did the job really, really well. The stone looks like it's pretty securely set. Now I just need to tidy up the setting and give it a polish. there we have my first ever collet setting. My first thought was it's not quite perfect, I could probably do better and then I thought for a moment and remembered that before I started this this was a piece of silver sheet and a strip of wire and I have made that entire setting myself. I think sometimes when you make jewellery it's quite easy to sort of look at the imperfections and think about what you could do better next time and then not stop and think about just how far you've come and a year ago I would not even have attempted something like this. This is going in the favourites box too.